Welcome to The Softer Side. I'm Shelley Carney, your relationship coach. Let's get started. Let's look into some common beliefs that people have. Life happens to me. That's a very disempowering belief that says, uh, I don't have any control over things. You may not have complete control over circumstances that happen in your life because other people are involved in those circumstances, but you do have your own level of control over how you react and what you do. Um, Changing things is hard to impossible. Well, sometimes change isn't that impossible it just feels that way you've maybe done things for in a certain way for a long time and that's become familiar and it's hard to break out of those patterns because we our brains us we enjoy the familiar we like staying in our box in our comfort zone and not venturing out even if what's outside of our comfort zone is probably better than what we're experiencing right now we don't like change and it's too hard, so we're not going to do it. Dreams are unrealistic. We hear this a lot. The dreams that we had as kids, we think, you know what, when I grow up, I'm going to be this amazing teacher, or I'm going to be a millionaire, or I'm going to be this or that or the other thing. And then that doesn't turn out the exact way we had hoped. So we give up on that dream and we say that was unrealistic. I'm just going to be an accountant instead because that's realistic. Uh, another common belief, I wasn't born to be a confident communicator. I'm not good at speaking. I can't do that. I can't get up in front of people and talk, or I can't have easy conversations. Conversations are hard for me. I'm an introvert. So we can let these common beliefs hold us back. What are some of your beliefs that you think might be limiting. So put that in the chat box now and tell me one of your beliefs and let me know if you believe that that is limiting or empowering. When you're in a car, think think about, let's all think about being in our car and we're holding on to the steering wheel. Now let's say we're going along a straight road and we realize, uh oh, I'm I've passed my destination. I'm going the wrong way now. I'm going south when I should be going north. What are we going to do? Are we going to just stay on that road? Even though we know we're not, we're not going to get to our destination now? No, we're going to turn the wheel. I'm going to turn the wheel, and what happens? We change direction. So that's what turning the wheel is about. It's about changing direction, making that decision I need to turn around, I'm going the wrong way, let me change direction and turn that wheel. The the car represents our lives, the wheel represents our minds and our will. So let's turn that wheel on our beliefs, on those common beliefs that we just talked about and say, you know what, I make life happen. What I decide to do, my thoughts, my feelings, my actions, That's what makes life happen. And take that power back. I have the power to change the world. We do have the power to change the world because we can change ourselves. And when we change ourselves and our perceptions of the world, we change the world around us. I can create anything that I visualize and dream about. And that is how we start going to that place that we want to go to as we visualize it we imagine it what if i was this really successful life coach and i had all these great clients who just loved me that's something that i can visualize i can think about that i can picture the people who would benefit from working with me so that is something i can visualize and dream about that means i can make it happen I can attract anyone I choose. Well, how do we attract people? We become attractive. How do we become attractive? We are full of joy. We are living an abundant life. And that attracts people to us because they want that for themselves as well. 
So turn your life around. You have the power to choose your future and make it happen. You can choose abundance, joy, excitement, fun, love, and romance. These are things that you have the power to choose. Here is the secret. I promised you the top three ways to upgrade your life. Here it comes. Okay, so what do you need to succeed, right? There's the catch. What you need to do to succeed is the desire to learn and to grow. Uh, if you don't have a desire to learn and grow and you just want to stay in your rut, if you just want to stay in that lane and go the wrong direction when you know you could easily turn the car around, then you're not going to succeed. You just have to have that desire to learn and grow and change direction. You need the ability to see obstacles as opportunities. That means when you are going along towards your goal and something gets in your way, you say, oh, can do I need to stop right here and not go any further? Is that the wrong goal for me? What's going on? And you instead see that obstacle as an opportunity. Say, I want to build a big business and I want to make a lot of money, but I can't, I can't get, I can't get the, vis, the, the visibility. I can't get the people to come to me. I can look at that obstacle as a roadblock and oh, there's nothing I can do about it. Or I can look at it as an opportunity to be more creative, to, uh, to be innovative and to think outside the box. These are opportunities. Um, you also need to succeed a positive mindset. If you're constantly being negative about everything and saying no to everything, then you're not gonna have all the opportunities open up to you that you would if you had a positive mindset. You need the drive and the courage to start. Again, turning the wheel, making that change, but first deciding that you need to turn that wheel. And then you need a support system. We all need support to help us, lift us up, and keep us going when things get tough. So you get what you give, right? Whatever you're putting into your life, whatever work you're doing on it is what you're going to get back. If you sit on the couch and watch Netflix all day, what do you get back? Well, you get, you know, <laughs> maybe rest and relaxation, but you're not going to be moving forward in your life. Um, so choose courage over discomfort. I have the courage to step outside my comfort zone, to choose that discomfort of speaking to new people that I don't know, uh, putting myself out there where people may or may not like me. Um, I choose courage. I choose to make things happen and and whatever the, the consequences and the circumstances that follow that, I'm willing to put up with that discomfort. You get what you get when you send out love energy to people. You get love energy back. When you raise the level of uh, positive com communication with somebody, they will go up there with you and, and enjoy that love energy with you. When you get what you give, you take responsibility for your own actions. Then the people around you see that level of integrity and they will match that level of integrity as well. They'll say, well, if you're going to take responsibility for your actions, then I need to do the same thing. Uh, you get what you give when you harmonize your life systems. That means you have a lot of give and take in order to achieve balance. So. Today, you may want to focus on the physical and getting uh, those things lined up. I want to eat nutritious meals. I want to work out. I want to get my physical in line. And then tomorrow, I'm going to work on my spiritual and the next day mental and next day emotional and harmonize those life systems because they all intertwine. They're interactive. And when one works well, then the others will work better and daily habits of success. So when you put in the time and the effort every day to those small little changes and habits, then that builds up over time and it gives you back those goals that you wanted to achieve. So we have the power to succeed. Here are the three things you can do to upgrade your life. And this one, self-assessment, two, focus on your desires, and three, make a bold plan. Let's go over those. So in self-assessment, you want to look at your life and ask yourself some questions. What problems am I facing right now? Um, well, I, I have a full busy week and I'm feeling really stressed. Okay, that could be a problem. 
um, what works well in my life. Well, I'm having a, a great week because I have so many exciting things to do and so much to look forward to. How do I feel when I wake up each day? I feel like two ways, right? I feel a little overwhelmed and at the same time excited to get to work. So I'm balancing that out. And if I had a magic wand, what would I change? And I like to bring up the magic wand because when I say, here, here's the magic wand, you can do anything you want, it takes away all the excuses. It takes away all of that self-doubt. And you can say, oh, well, I have a magic wand. Fine. Then I want this, 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 and this. Awesome. And now you have just cleared all the obstacles out of your visualization. Two, focus on your desires. In a perfect world, here's that magic wand going to work. In a perfect world, I would have, hmm, I'd have a career that brought me a lot of money and gave me a lot of satisfaction and helped a lot of people. I would be a life coach. I would do uh, what I'm doing now because I enjoy it. The videos and the talking with my friends online the best of everything. I want the best of everything in all areas of my life, physical, mental, emotional, spiritual, and relationships. So uh, what focusing on my desires means is I'm going to decide what it is I want in every area of my life and then start making that happen. And number three, make a bold plan. Let's make a plan to get those things that we want by creating goals, breaking them down into steps, beginning new habits, scheduling them into my calendar, and then committing to doing those things. If I need support, I'll go out and get some support. I'll ask my family and friends, or I can ask a coach to help me if it's something that I don't know how to do. Um, and I'll be accountable. I'm going to tell my friends and family, look what I'm going to do. And would you support me in this and keep me accountable and keep asking how I'm doing. Check in with me. That'll keep me accountable. Let's talk a little bit about the law of attraction. The, again, the best way to attract others is to live a life of joy and abundance because everybody wants to be around somebody who is joyful and loving and generous and uh, honest and open and giving with their time and talents. Who doesn't want to be around somebody like that? And when we're trying to live in the law of attraction, everything is a gift. And that means we have an upset and it's made us 15, 20 minutes late. How can we see this as a gift? Well, we can thank the people for being patient. We can appreciate that more people showed up and waited for us. There are a lot of ways to look at things as a gift that normally we would look at as something bad or unfortunate that happened. Um, be the change that you want to see in the world. This is this has been going around for a long time, so it's become like an adage or just something that people say, but it really has a lot of meaning to it. If you want your world to change, then you need to change yourself first and be the change that you want to see. If you want everybody around you to be happier, more relaxed, more joyful, got to do that for yourself first. What you think about, you bring about. And that's again why we're going to focus on the things that we really want in our lives rather than the things that we don't want. Because the thing that we're focusing on is the thing we'll get more of. And if you're going to focus on the things you don't want, you're going to get more of that. Choose your support system. This is amazing. We can't choose our family members, but we can choose our friends. We can choose our partners in life, and we can choose who we hang out with because who you hang out with the most is who you become the most like. So choose wisely when you choose the people in your support system. You want to choose people who have positive energy, and they are accepting, and they don't judge you. You want people who are inspirational and, and motivate you to want more positive things in your life. You want people in your life and in your support system who are ready to listen to you when you have something that you need to express. And you need people in your support system who are going to provide 
helpful feedback and encouragement. Um, that's what I'm asking of you today is to give me your helpful feedback, what you enjoyed about this talk, what encouragement you might give about, you know, I like this, I'd see, I'd like to see more of that, and uh, just in an encouraging and positive way.